23. Okay. He's, he's a great young man. He's a, he's a great role model. Just, you know, very, very good-natured young man. And, uh, you know, he started with us when he was 12 and got into training and was doing jiu-jitsu competitions. And then, of course, when he, you know, I think he was 17, he, he had his first Muay Thai fight and won that. And he has fought several times in Muay Thai since then. And, uh, you know, began fighting in, in amateur mixed martial arts and made his pro debut and has been doing very well. And he'll be fighting May 13th for Hard Rock MMA at Turf Wars. Or Hard, Rock Turf 89. Way. Hard Rock 89 in Florence, Kentucky, Turf Way. Uh, he'll be facing Jeremy Pinder, who's, uh, you know, another very tough opponent for him. Um, but a, a very good fight, as all of Hard Rock MMA boomer, fights are. Alec After the intermission, our first fight is Joel Bennett out of the red corner. Joel Bennett going to be fighting Alec Valentine. Joel Bennett from Tag MMA. He's 1-0, 24 years old, and 5-5. Going to be taking on 1-0, 23-year-old fighter in Alec Valentine that is 5-10. So Alec Valentine, the taller fighter here from Area 502. And we saw him fight February 4th at Hard Rock. He had the, opponent, the, the fight where he has a barrage of Taekwondo style, very flashy kicks. And he trains at Area 502, so you know he has a ground game. Absolutely. But in the last fight, we really didn't get to see any of his ground game. What we saw from Alec was some spectacular kicks. Absolutely. Uh, Alec, both, both these guys want to know, so some, tonight somebody's O has to go. Alec, a hometown kid. Got a, a strong contingency of support here in Louisville. Alec Valentine fighting out of the B2 Digital Blue Corner. B2 Digital trading at BTDG. We appreciate B2 Digital allowing the stream to be free, free for everybody tonight. Looks like one of the doctors is in the back. That'd be Dr. Sparks. Looks like there's a bit of a delay on the commentary for the live feed on YouTube. So go to Bluegrass MMA and catch it live there. Weighing in at 148 pounds, representing TAG MMA from Morganfield, Kentucky, Joel Bennett. The Joel Bennett. And fighting out of the B2 Digital Blue Corner, weighing in at 145 pounds, representing Area 502 from Louisville, Kentucky, Alec Valentine. Alec Valentine, obviously the crowd favorite here tonight, has people jumping up and down cheering for him. Miss Kara, the ring girl for the first round. Joel seems to be more of a wrestler is my gut instinct, whereas Alec, as we said before, specializes in Taekwondo, but also has a very strong ground game under Phil Perkins. You know, I think Phil Perkins is going to be um, someone who wants his fighters to go in fully prepared, and uh, anybody that's stepping into the cage for Area 502 is going to be well-rounded. Um, maybe even if they come from a, a traditional background where they have a very good stand-up game, they're, you can almost guarantee that they're going to have a good ground game as well. See Alec Valentine looking to find his range there. A side kick. Oh, a spinning kick, but he got him taken down. Push off an up kick. He's to stand back up. Alec was certainly happy to get this back to the standing. 
Very much so. I think uh, his opponent is expecting all of those kicks. And backing off and looking for the opening to take it down. You know, Alec is doing a good job of working against the cage to stand back up. You see Joel Bennett's corner telling him to suck Alec's legs to the other side to bring it back down to the ground. Knee to the body. So Alex got a guillotine. Joel's trying to work up. He needs to throw his arm up around his neck to relieve some of that pressure instead sometimes, of pushing off the hip. Sometimes standing guillotines don't seem like they'll work, but every once in a while, Every once in a while they do, especially with Alec being the taller fighter. But it looks like Joel is able to be resilient. Still working on that leg. Joel wanting to get his leg to the outside so he can hook that leg and trip. Alec seems to be up on what his game is though. That's some air time. Oh, turned the wrong Alec, way, I think. Alec Valentine to side control right over the mount. Phil Perkins shaking his head, happy with the quick transition to the good position. I was standing very excited and happy. This is some serious crowd That's support for Alec one. Valentine. Wow. I think that round is going to go to Alec Valentine. You think that's a definitive Alec Valentine round? Any way you could see that being scored for Joel Bennett? Yes. You could, okay. Okay. That's what I was thinking, but... Valentine certainly landed the more strikes and kicks. He did, and uh, he's obviously the crowd favorite. You'd like to think that sometimes that uh, judges don't get swayed by that, but I think they do. And then, you know, Valentine also ended up on, on top with ground and pound towards the end. That's the last thing they saw. True. I'm very distracted by it. I'm like, Pointing around to people like, oh, you smell that. <laughs> Where is it? We're all very distracted by the smell. It's all over the place. It's not good. It smells like something's burning. That would not be good, would it? A lot of electricity in here. Is that what you think it is? You think something's, something's burning? Dust may be burning. Serious trophies over here. I think that's for right, the guys, Amateur Fight of the Night award. award. Okay. Is that a, a, a sign that this may be the fight of the night? Amateur fight of the night? Uh, well, we got quite a few fights left on the card. Amateur, uh, this uh, 13 fight card is comprised primarily of amateur fights, only one fight being professional. So, you know, this being the halfway point, I think they got quite a few more to go through before they can make that decision. I think if you're Alec Valentine, you know that Joel Bennett wants to get it to the ground. Although Valentine did end the last round on the ground, winning with the ground and pound. Joel Bennett trying to control the legs of Valentine. Trying to keep him getting locked down in the guard. Working a little standing. Alec Valentine is so tall though, he's able to up kick and, and reach pretty well. He certainly has the reach advantage and that works to his favor. I 
think Joel Bennett is doing a good job of knowing that Alec Valentine has two strong areas. It's going to be on the ground and standing up, and he wants to stay in that middle area. Very interesting to me that Alec Valentine looked like he had a moment there where he could have got to his feet, and he mm -hmm. chose not to. What do you think of those kicks from the open guard, Gina? I mean, they're legal, and you got to watch out for them. So, you know, I think he's, he's doing the best he can to try to keep Joel Bennett from passing, keeping his legs in. But I think that he definitely needs to work on getting up. And he is. Joe Bennett's found a really nice middle area. Joel Bennett with his knee on the neck of Alec Valentine. Valentine opting to stand up as the round ends. Got to say, Valentine probably won the first two. Thoughts? Uh, you know, I thought that Joel Bennett was doing a really good job of keeping uh, Alec Valentine out of his comfort zones okay. off of his feet. In the second round. Yes, in the second round, but also not, you know, giving him the opportunity to play, you know, a jiu-jitsu ground game. Um, you know, Alec Valentine did score some really good defensive up kicks, but uh, I thought Joel Bennett did a good job of, of maintaining that middle area where they're not on the feet, but he's not down on the ground with him. Do so you think Bennett maybe won the second round? I, I liked the second round for Bennett. Personally. Okay. Difficult to gauge. A lot of those shots in the second round from Valentine were those somewhat unorthodox mm -hmm. kicks from the bottom, from the open guard like that. But we've seen some of the judges tend to favor the wrestling, and uh, Bennett was able to, to take it to the ground and keep it there. So potentially looking at a 1-1 score. Headed into round three. Once again, Alec Valentine in the B2 digital blue corner. We have Joel Bennett in the red corner. Here at Hard Rock MMA 88 at Expo 5 in Louisville, Kentucky. This is it, your third and final round. Let him hear ya. Something is going on there with Joel. See the fans of Alec Valentine calling for him to kick. They really like his fighting style. Been working on trying to keep Valentine back up against the cage and work for that takedown again. And he gets it, throws him on the ground, but doesn't go down with him to try to work that middle area again. Valentine taking some shots to the head. You see Bennett working that knee in again to try to stay out of the guard and not necessarily on the ground, but working striking. A little blood on the back of the neck of Alec Valentine. See, Alec Valentine wanted to bring his knee across. But he's wanting to work for an arm bar. But it doesn't look like Joel Bennett's going to let him. How much damage are those kicks to the face doing is what I'm wondering. It's all in the, the mind of the judges.
Joel Bennett sitting on the hips of Alec Valentine to shut down those legs this time around and work that ground and pound. Neon Belly able to strike. Valentine turning his back, trying to roll. Valentine appears to have some kind of a cut on the back of his neck. It looks like a scratch, I think. You think it was before? Uh, I saw it over here, and it looked oh, like it was okay. more of a scratch, like a, a, an abrasion. Thirty-six seconds left in the fight. Joel Ben is still doing a good job of controlling that area, controlling the legs, and throwing some really good strikes from a standing position. From his knee right in his neck. Neck area. Here's some of the crowd suggesting Alex stands up. I think he's having a hard time moving his hips to be able to get any leverage, and he's not really working any sweeps, uh, you know, using his long legs to put pressure and on the top of Bennett's hips the while trapping the ankle to get him back. To the um, you know, both of these fighters, it was just their second fight, and that's what amateur fighting is for, gaining experience on what to do the next time. See a little cut over the eye of... Alec Valentine, but Joel Bennett collapses on the floor from exhaustion. Great fight. I think Joel Bennett is feeling very confident that he won. How do you score it? I gotta say Joel Bennett probably. You? 29-28 Joel Bennett. I okay. think uh, first round went to Alec Valentine. I'll agree with that. 29-28. Good fight. Both of these fighters. Great fight. For both of the Warriors tonight. Wow. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. We're judging one, two, and three. Unanimous decision, the red corner, Joel Bennett. First unanimous decision of the night. It was. Uh, I'm assuming they all scored a 29-28, because I think it's pretty clear that Alec won that first round. Absolutely. Um, as always, good fights put on by Hard Rock MMA. A lot of decisions, not a lot of 